so what else I did in the meantime? I uh, cleaned all the joists to make sure that there's no any old glue remaining of the old board uh, on the top. So the new board will be nice and flat as well as uh, the original floor was. I, I used a scraper so to remove any old glue residues. Eliminate all the nails, eroded nails. I already did this over here, here, and here. So another step, kind of figuring out the pipes setup. What I did, I mark the center from the wall on each both sides. So this is kind of center line of the shower to get the center going this way. We had um. Uh, we've had 23 our center because the opening will be 46 so I'm marking this on my level a little bit so I know that this point is exactly center of the shower and what I already did I have the new P truck some other pipes uh, I'm playing with it uh, to see which way it will appear to be in the center Checking the how uh, the length of the pipe pipes I have to cut. Already did this work. In the meantime, I attached also temporarily this longer drain pipe here, so it kind of is make this easier for me to figure where the center is gonna be. And I'm for now I'm just dry fitting this to without any glue to see the way I'm supposed to glue it later so this is it another good thing will be to glue this one first this pipe to the P truck and have a small level to check if this pipe is actually level uh, uh, the way it's supposed to be so the drain is not crooked or anything like this I don't have one right now with me I will grab one in a moment but yes yeah, so once I know exactly where the center is going to be I already cut this pipe over here with the correct length I already placed this coupling over here to connect with the old pipe the next step will be for me to mark how exactly it appears to be and how to how much uh, how far to go with the glue so this is going in this direction this is not that important here I will mark that so I know that uh, I supposed to glue it somewhere here it will be easier of course to glue it not here but in hands so this is my mark how far to go regarding this and, uh, it's something that I will I, I will adjust with the smaller lever later so this is the center here. Right now I will be putting those pieces together. Okay, so already kind of pre-assembled this P trap following my markings. Right now we have to attach it to the main pipe and then make sure we have this nicely leveled as much as we can. We have some flexibility that where we can play with. So this is it. Uh, so this is another step we will be doing everything is pretty much ready to be connected and leveled this level okay it's nice and level going this way and this way just to believe I will place the shim over here 
HUD is enough leveled at this point. So, so this is it. Another step will be to put the subfloor on top. I'm not putting any pipes over here yet. What I will do, I will put this pipe temporary. I'm going to check leveled and and another step will be for me to grab exactly the center it might vary and if this way and this way we will never do it exactly because it's hard but we have a uh, number from this wall to the center right down here and from the outside wall What, 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 what will be the next step? I'm removing this. I will attach this one later because right now I don't know how long it's supposed to be yet. I will place the subfloor and then we'll mark the cross here basing on dimensions I just grabbed and then you will see. <laughs> so another step will be to put this floor back on top. We have this floor being nicely supported here because it has the joists on the sides there's nothing to really attach the board to so I'm always putting additional blocks in such situation I'm using non-corrosive screws for that can also put additional screws here to this side really enforcing this so it's really durable as original and I'm following up this process on a both sides of this cutout that we have this side and the other side and we will be putting boards in a moment another nice thing will be to vacuum the workspace all the debris that we left here so there's no trash left I will do it in just a second uh, before I will cover the floor um, so, and this floor. piece of new support pre-cut already right now I'll be placing this Got a spot. Matches very well, nice, solid. So another steps will be first to screw it down the way it's supposed to be. Grab it just a and 
I will do this for a goal course all the way around. But another important thing will be our shower drain. Peter, where do you have it? Um, so this is the drain we'll be attaching. So where's the center, right? And I grab these dimensions for the center. 21 and a half. This is this line. Marking this here. Here we have 22 and 3 quarters. Those are numbers to the center of the pipe. The, to the center of the P trap, actually, in this case. This way. And that way. So, this is center. This is where we have the center of the P trap. Another step, of course, cut the hole. Oh. So, we're at the point where we have to install the drain. We have the mark. Right now I'm putting the uh, new drain that way so I have a center exactly where the pipe appears to be. I'm marking here the cutout for the drain because the drain has to go a little bit to the floor so it's nice and flush with the plywood. So this is it. Another step to this will be cut this hole. I will be doing this with a sozo. It's already waiting here. But we have to start somewhere. So I have the drill bit here that will help me start with the circular cutout I'm making a few holes so I can put blade nicely inside Cutting out those. I'll be cutting uh, the, so, uh, the hole in a kind of almost 45 degree angle because the drain always has a lip that it's it's turning in 45. So so this actually will sit here. We have a holes for the screws to actually put later to make it hold in place. And let me start cutting this hole out. This is our hole for the drain. As you can see, P-trap over there, centered. The drain will go here, like that. In this hole, we won't see the peach, the P-trap right now. But another step, of course, to hook up the drain. So what I'm doing. I'm measuring. I can see the drain from here. 
I'm measuring how long this pipe is supposed to be to fit, to go through the fitting on a P-trap about three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch inside the drain. Looks like seven and one eighth will be our length. Seven inches, seven and, a, and one eighth of an inch will be the length of the pipe. The next step, I will glue those two together. Of, I mean, I will measure seven and, a, and one eighth. Cut it. Glue those two guys first together. Then apply glue. Here on a speed uh, trap, apply glue at the other end, push it down, hold it for several seconds, and the drain will be attached. Yes, so I'm applying glue. I already did this over there. I cut the piping, cut with it right length this is another step nicely replacing this in spot level it's really nice Small difference, it's not a big deal, we can always adjust this on a drain because the drain will be kind of move, moving, it's not really tight fit, but this is just perfect what we have to reach. And of course we have those holes to put some screws so the drain is not flying, so there's no any movement later. Mm, so this is the next step. I have non corrosive screws. Make sure that the screw doesn't stick out from this part because it might most likely will make a hole in the shower head liner that we will be attaching later. So make sure it gets inside of those holes nicely this is the drain piece of part drain is in place this is 2 inch pipe this is what's recommended for walking shower drains we have inch and a half in a tubs but right now you can see how nicely leveled is this it all moves you see this is kind of how the drain moves so yes this is it mission accomplished suffer re replaced drain replaced ready to follow up with the rest of the items next will be shower valve we'll be also replacing tub valves fixtures so thank you for watching and i'm hoping that it will be helpful in your own home project make sure to check my website for shower ideas tons of pictures thank you